Enda, what do you mean? Welcome to another episode of Black Friday. Uh, as you can see, Lenny's not here today, so I'm holding down the fort. But uh, yeah, today we're going to talk all things business. Uh, I've got the tea effect in the building, right? Yes, sir. Correct. Uh, you, this is Tiamu. Yes, sir. I just made you know. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Nivo. 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 N-I-V-O. Nivo. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so tell me about the tea effect, man. What's the business all about? I mean, we, we, we are basically a creative management agency. Um, so we basically do work in the music and management space, the creative space for production, the marketing space for digital campaigns for brands and artists. Um, yeah, we. So what we basically do, we do work with um, musicians, brands, corporates, that kind of thing. But what the the key thing about our business is that, with regards to the music part of it, the whole thing is built around a global approach. Um, it's about making. African stars. How do you how do you put it? Yeah, making uh, making <laughs> global African stars, well, African, African global stars. stars yeah. You know, um, <clears throat> and that's the whole approach. I think that's what we. In terms of because there are three pillars. I yeah. mean, the first pillar being that the, we've got the management and label part of it, and we are really having that global approach with that part, which really sets us apart. Because I mean, you know, so many artists that are really signed to a Sony to a Universal, which you think are is like a global company. Yeah. Um, but you don't see um, the artists really penetrate anywhere outside of South Africa or anywhere, you know. Yeah. So I mean, I think what we have done with the T effect is that we've really built like a network of like, um, uh, I mean, our, a network outside of South Africa that can really help us to get our artists where, on the on the right stages, you know, whether it's in Europe, whether it's in the US, whether it's in Australia whether it's um you know across africa or so forth you know and then the other part of it i mean, I mean the, the second pillar is um the marketing and digital side of it you know uh whether we do it for brands uh, or corporates or whether we do it for for artists as well you know so i mean i mean he's like the digital guru and really heads up like that department and then another pillar that we really have and as our like 2020 focus would be um the eventing and um production side of it um so whether it's an uh, artist curated show for example like the ak orchestra or the one night with java which we're part of you know um we are talking to a couple of other artists as well to really put on their shows you know and um and we're very like we're, we're very hands-on in terms of actually you know putting together you know the production side of it and making it telling the story through visuals and lighting and and so forth not just standing there and singing and so forth you know yeah i want to unpack the first pillar uh, the artist pillar. Which artist do you have on your roster right now? Well, um, on the management side, I've got AKA, um, and then label and management, I have Willie Cardiac, who's like an 18 year old trap. Yeah, you know, he's like a yeah. mosh pit. You know, like Superstar. if you're. If you're probably in high school, you know who Willie Cardiac <laughs> is. Know who? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, th- you know? I'm sitting here like, who are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's like, he's like in South Africa, he's like the SunCloud king, you know. Yeah. And um, I mean, I was just reading an article the other day where, um, I mean, even Willie Cardiac doesn't know a name of another radio station, you know. Wow. <laughs> and it's like, what, what is that, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I'm talking about, yo, you look at, you look, you look, you look at that, that, that. Um, Willie Cardiac, you look at uh, the Big Cash, you look at Patrick Lee. These guys are not really playing on radio. They're not, they're, they're, you know, the, the music videos are not playing on, on, um, TV or on TV or anything, you know. But they've got millions of streams, you know, whether it's coming from SoundCloud, whether it's coming from Spotify, whether it's coming from Apple Music, whatever. So they've got the, the internet. They call it, uh, I mean, Big Cash calls it the internet wave, yeah. you know, the internet wave, you know. Um, so, I mean, okay, so so that's my second artist. And we've got a, I've got a Nigerian artist by the name of Mili, um, who was, um, su- yeah, Mili, he's like pretty dope, you know. Um, I mean, if you know Santi um, from Nigeria as well, then, you know, Mili would be along along that line. Um, I've got Kidominant, who was, I mean, South Africa knows him from Felin Fasachi, but I mean, the boy is like really 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 dope because he just penned a song for chris brown um wow. you know um which is already out you know um and that is a lot of work putting it together you know um he, he produced um david's fall which is like the biggest Afrobeats joint of you know yeah. of, of all time yeah 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 of, of all time and and i mean it's you know you go to a club in la you go to a club in new york you go to a club in especially atlanta 
um, you, you know, there won't be a night where they don't play the song, you know. Oh, so crazy. when you're talking about when, when they're talking about uh, music from Africa, they're actually talking about that particular song. Wow. Um, and then we also have Obrikwana, who's like an urban maskandi artist. He's like pretty pretty dope. Um, look out for him as well. So if I'm an artist and I'm watching this right now and I want to be signed under to you guys, what's the criteria? <clears throat> okay, well, I mean, because I head up that. Um, we don't really <laughs> take submissions. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a demo. So I, I think I think let, let me let, let me not you know let me save you some time you know because <laughs> I know you're googling my email address. <laughs> so you, you know, approach but, people. But um, um, what we do is that um, either we we will know of you if we if you know we will know of you or um, people who already know as will recommend you know i see so if you do have somebody who knows me mm. and not my mom because my mom is not a music person my mom will recommend everybody <laughs> 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 you know so i mean if you do know um, somebody who knows me um you know what so whether it's a dj or whether you know it's it's, it's anybody like yeah. um yeah, so i mean i could i could take that you know if so if i get something from you because i've known you for years yeah you know and and i know your ear is very good yeah and then I, I hopefully Hopefully, uh, Meg G has a reputation for not. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want. You don't. Want, yeah, I can, yeah, I can trust. Uh, you, don't, you don't want to ru- ruin your reputation yeah. because you've got one chance. You know, <laughs> one Meg, chance Meg G you. brings one person. <laughs> if that person is a it's flop, over. it's over for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. let's uh, let's unpack the second pillar now. Yeah. In terms of marketing and digital, um, for corporates. And, you know, um, artists as well. What do you guys offer as a company? I know you've got the global reach. Yeah. Apart from that, what else is there? I think, I think the, the key focus for us is that I'll make an example with, with how we approach one of our clients, Willie Cardiac. Um, it was for us to first establish who do we want to reach? What do you want to reach with? What do you want to reach them with? And what kind of return or reaction do we want to get out of that? So with that, that helps us craft specific, specifically catered strategies to work for that specific project. Um, so the whole thing is that it's not, a, it's not a service you can get off the shelf. It's a boutique service that will work for your brand specifically. So it's not a copy and paste kind of product. It's tailor-made. Yeah, it's tailor-made. Um, we, we basically, it's like we have an immersion process where we basically personalize your brand, get to understand your brand. Um, and I think that's how we are able to translate a lot of the content that we produce and a lot of the strategies that we produce. And what kind of uh, brands have you worked with? I mean, I can't mention names, mm-hmm. but I mean, we've, we've done a lot of things from big award ceremonies to um, insurance companies to TV channels to TV shows. Yeah. Um, so we've done a lot of work in different areas and also artists sp- uh, specifically. All right. Uh, now the third part of your business is what I like, man. Because uh, I just saw, unfortunately, I couldn't attend this uh, one night with this Java. Yeah. But I showed the visuals and they were absolutely amazing. Sure. So you guys were responsible for that. Yeah. Take so, me through so that journey, man. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he's also heading up that and yeah. he's, he's, a, he's a creative at heart. Um, so, yeah, you want it's to... A, it's, it's, a it's, a, it's a very emotional process, I think, for us. Um, starting point is that we, just like the music side of things, we... we we don't just work with any artist um, because it's such an emotional process. It's 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 basically us being able to tell your story um, the way you would want it or the perfect way in which you would explain it. Um, so what we do is, like I said, with the marketing, we immerse, we immerse ourselves with the artist and say, what are you trying to tell? Um, it was very clear from the beginning from Shava, he wanted to include every single element of who he is. Um, a lot of people might not remember, but he was an actor. He was on Zone... What is it? Zone 14? Oh, wow. Um, I didn't know that. He was an actor. Um, mm. He he wanted to include the church. He wanted to include the, the, the ancestral part of it. So for us, it was just basically being able to immerse ourselves in who Java is um, and then put together and build the show. Um, the... So the cousins, which are which is really good friends of ours, they were responsible for the music. So what you hear, so what you see, that was all us. How the stage looked, the layout, the the content that came up, when we black out, what kind of lighting scheme, what kind of AV, when does he show up on screen, when does he walk on, where does he stand? Um, so that was all us. Um, basically, it's a long process. 
and that's why I say it's a very emotional process. Wow, man, it's yeah. beautiful. And, uh, and I think I think it's it's. I mean, I could I can put it out there that it's one of the yeah. best shows that we've actually ever Definitely. produced. Um, at us, it was um, better than it on, is. The, <laughs> on the day on the day it was very stressful. <laughs> <laughs> you just asked the question <laughs> on the day. <laughs> It's no, a different you, show. You, don't, a different show. you don't just interrupt someone who's talking now. You just again, yeah, ow. Come on, <laughs> come on, man. You're OG. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Mac OG. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, and I think because also um, just including all those elements, it was just mm. like logistically making it because also it was being shot for for DVD. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And also moving the moving parts around it and having these actors who are coming on board and, yeah. you know, having all of that. I mean, I was running the stage and I had the most stressful time. But I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it all came together and, you know, the audience on that side was like, wow, this is like amazing perfectly yeah. but then you know uh, backstage it was uh, a lot of swearing and there a lot, lot of, of <laughs> there, was, yeah. there, there, were, there were mistakes even that I mean people will watch it now they'll say what a magical moment mm. but in the back end we're like oh shucks that was such a terrible yeah. mistake yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, so I mean I mean I mean look it was it was it was, it was really great what yeah. really honestly one of the best um, so it, if I'm watching as a young entrepreneur I want to get into the space into this agency that you guys have which sounds like a very new school agency what are some of the hurdles? What are some of the challenges that you guys have faced in your journey so far? I mean, let, I, I'll start by saying, I mean, for us, we, we, it's a partnership for us. Um, so finding the right person. If you're going to get into a partnership, find the right person to work with. Um, myself and Siamo go back, what, three, four years? Um, and I think, I think that's the first part that you have to go through. If you're going to go into a partnership, find the right person. Find the right groove and find the right way of working. Um, the next one is it's 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 a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. It's a lot of late nights. It's a lot of sacrifice. Um, it's a lot of uh, taking hits so that you can open the next door. You know, um, so that's a lot, and and it's a lot of, of of investing in yourself continuously, and that's what we do a lot, and that's why I think we've seen the results, we've seen the networks that we've built, the relationships we've built, the projects we've gotten into. It's all about what's the next. How do we better this company? How, how do we move forward? Fantastic, man. So if I'm watching right now, I'm a corporate because I know you're not taking any submissions <laughs> for now. How do I get reaching with you guys? How do I get a hold of you guys? Oh, I thought the business guy was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, um, you can email us. Um, it's um, I hope it's not very difficult. It's siamo at teffect-co.com. And he's on nevo at teffect-co.com. You know, um, <clears throat> I do... I do go through all my emails. Yeah. I might not reply to them, but I do see every single one of my emails before I sleep, just so you know. Yeah. All right, fantastic. And uh, future plans for your company? Yeah, it's, yeah, um, um, it's so funny. Yeah, it's so it's funny because funny. that's what we're actually doing right now. Yeah. Like, literally, that's what we're doing for the week because we just come out of the Echo Orchestra, so we've got a little bit of time. Uh, we don't have any other event for, for the year. Um, so we're putting together our 2020 plans. Yeah. Um, and um, all I'm saying is that um, Africa is the future. Yeah. So, 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 I mean, in terms of like a label and management, that's all you got to know for now. That um, art, um, Africa is the future. And I, I think we're going to show through our artists and through our um, plans that Africa really is the future, right? Yeah. And then um, in terms of the eventing and production, um, <clears throat> we're already talking to a couple of other artists, you know, putting together their shows and that we're going to be producing. Um, I can't say who it is at the moment until we make the announcement. Yeah. Um, but then I mean that's that's pretty much it as well. I mean, <clears throat> I think already our 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 plans up until twenty I mean twenty twenty September are like uh, pretty much done. You know, yeah. Um, like sixty five percent, seventy percent done. Um, all you gotta do is just look look at us and and like you said, we are the new age. Um, I think it's gone with the old. Yeah. Uh, right now, and we are just coming to disrupt the industry really. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. That is T Effect. And um, for everybody that's been asking me why AK hasn't been on the show, ask Tiamu. He's the manager, so blame it on him. <laughs> why you gotta put him on blast like that? <laughs> AKA, please make the show. <laughs> <laughs> Just a request. <laughs> yes. This has been Black Friday. We out of here. Peace. Peace. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.